Shalom everybody and welcome to the Rivka journey. I hope you have been blessed by it and you had a chance to read the book, go through those lessons together with us and take advantage. Now we have the Rivka journey course available and we hope that whatever you are, whoever you are, if in English or Spanish or Korean or French or Dutch, this Rivka journey is a meaningful journey for you. Today I want to talk for a moment about not just the Rivka journey, but talk about the Eliezer journey. We're focusing so much about the Rivka, but we forget to talk about Eliezer. His name Eliezer means Eliezer, the Lord is my helper. Now, it is interesting that as Rivka get into her fullness throughout this journey, so has Eliezer. The text is telling us something really important about Eliezer's transformation as he's fulfilling the role. Remember that Eliezer and the role of Eliezer represent those who are one foot uh, in this journey, in a serial journey to the Rivka to bring the remnant and in the other foot, other foot they are also on their way to the house of Yitzchak, the house of Isaac, to the Jewish people. It is important for us as Messianic Jews not to lose the way of where we are to restore the nations to where to, where to take them. We have to take them back to the house of Israel, but to make sure that they don't lose the precious cargo that they are carrying back to the house of Israel, representing the Messiah themselves. Therefore, people ask me all the time the question, should I convert? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, you are to have a conversion of the heart, meaning that you are to convert in a way that the house of Israel can recognize that you're carrying something special, but no, according to the conversion of the flesh, because it is Yitzhak himself who going to be judging and looking at Rivka through a spiritual lens. And what is this test? As I explained in the book, it's a test of light what kind of light, what the quality of light, and what is the spirit beyond Rivka. And today, we have to bring something special and unique to the house of Israel. If we all convert to Judaism, and, and, and we have nothing spiritual to bring to the house of Israel, then Isaac himself cannot be fooled. The Jewish people need the light that is found in the one who say, I am the light of the world. He is the Messiah. Now check out what's happened to Eliezer today. As some of you know, I am a Messianic Jewish rabbi, meaning I love Judaism, I love my Jewish identity, but I'm also following the Messiah, Yeshua. Now, it's important to understand that I cannot be in my fullness unless the Gentiles are joining themselves to the journey with me. That's why we need you from the nations to join it. What do I mean by that? Listen with what he says. He says, and Rivka and her bridesmaid, they got up and they see me go till Kavena Alakmoni. They rode the camel. That is a this is a metaphor for the fact that they wanted to rise up above where they were and rise up above the physical to a spiritual level. A uh, camel represents uh, a defilement, defilement and riding represents rising above the Yetzer Hara, the evil inclination, to the next level. And it says, but again, what is the word Telchena? Like Genesis chapter 12, Lech Lecha. It is a journey, not just of the mind, it's a physical journey. Today, if you're from the nations, you have to choose to walk it out. And who do they walk out after? Aish. Look at this, this word Ish, Vayikach Aeved et Rivka. This is very interesting. Eliezer have two names. He called the man, but he's also called the servant. And he took Rivka and he walked. When did he become the servant of the Lord? The word the servant represents the higher altitude. It's the picture of the Messiah, who according to Isaiah 52, 13, called this servant of the Lord. He is becoming the Messiah to Rivka, Eliezer. But when did he fulfill his messianic role? Only, friends, only 
when he took risk. If we as Jews, as today many Jewish people, prefer to see Gentiles remaining in normative Christianity than rather than help them up in the journey all the way up to the house of Isaac. If we do not allow it as Messianic Jews, this type of journey, a Rivka journey, we do we not only harming Rivka, the nations, but we are harming ourselves because he's still called Aish, he's still the man until he fulfills his role as the servant of the Lord. What can we learn about this from Eliezer today? Number one, we need an Eliezer. The Messianic Jewish movement must be an Eliezer to the nations, to the church. Number two, it is in the benefit of us Messianic Jews to take upon ourselves this type of identity of tell of a man where 10 Gentiles are holding our city. Why? Because if we do this, we as Messianic Jews are benefiting from that just as much as you are benefiting from that. So what we should be today for you, we should be as Jewish believer in the Messiah, your greatest cheerleader, your success of coming out of this system of Rome into the house of Israel with Yeshua means that the salvation is coming to us. So. We see that in Isaiah chapter 2. It says to the nation, come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. It doesn't say to the Jews, it says to the Gentiles. But the very next verse says, and to you, Jacob, let you go and walk into the light, in the light. What is the light? The light, friend, is Torah. If we as Messianic Jews do not know the path of Torah, we don't take upon ourselves called the financial relationship of Torah, how on earth can we lead the Gentiles in this same path? So today our task is very simple. We are to take upon ourselves identity, the path of Mashiach with Torah, so that we lead the Gentiles to walk together and in end and cheer for them. And that's why in Jeremiah chapter 31, the prophet said that we, Jacob, are to cheer for the Gentiles who are coming to this path. Friend, who is the remnant? The remnant is the Jew who is leading the way for the Gentiles to come and walk into this path. Let us walk it together. Let's see the resurrection of Eliezer, the resurrection of Messianic Judaism, and the resurrection of, of Rivka on these last days. I hope you've been blessed, friends. You get the book, read the book, get excited. We are walking it up together. Shalom, everybody. Little.